hello guys welcome to the lecture in this lecture we are going to design our section so so remove this red background which we have given in the previous lecture so here you can see we have given the background red to that element so we're going to remove this and uh, if we save the file and if you go to the index.html file you will see this div which has this FAS, FA, ellipsis as icon. Here we're going to add a class which we haven't created, or we can also make this element a flex container. Instead of using that property, we can use the already created classes, which is flex and Align item center. Uh, the class that I want to add here, it was align self, which we haven't created. If I save the file, if I refresh the page, it will do the same. It will center the element like this, but it will align itself in a center position. For example, if I give this uh, element a red color again, background color red. Then if I refresh it, you will see the whole body has a background color red and the content of that element is centered. Not that div which uh, we have set the background red. Now if I say align self-centered, what it will do, you will see if I remove this class from here, this both for example and if I go here and if I say align self and say and we say centered and if we refresh the page now you will see the div itself now in a center position so instead of giving this we have said make this a flex container and that will add the display flex property and here we're going to say align item center so now the align item as you know as we learned before it will align these item in a center position because spawn is the item of the flex container so that is why this class will work so here we are going to remove this both properties now you save it now if when we refresh it now it's perfectly fine now let's add the background to this uh, div which is this background actually it's a body background color and let's uh, give it to this div if i go to html and if i scroll down up you will see this comment text will have that background color so we will go and to the comment text here here we are going to give padding and we are going to say 5 pixel sorry 5 pixel and 10 pixel border radius let's say 20 pixel margin margin right 7 pixel background color will be the color that we have given inside the body if I scroll up this color copy this color and again go here and paste that color save it now let's refresh the page this page now you can see we have added that color and now when I scroll to this uh, comment wrap and if I here I will add margin margin 5 pixel auto cursor will be pointer why because if you see here if we hover over this uh, comment wrap you will see mouse cursor change to pointer and that's what we need so when we hover over to this element 
it should change the cursor to pointer so when you refresh it you will see now it's given the pointer to this cursor so here we are going to select the second div so for the second position div as we know we are going to select that class and we are going to say go inside and select only children div so if we see here comment wrap has two children and we are going to say select this one so we are going to add the sudo class here so we will say nth sudo selector which is child selector and here we are going to say second position div and margin sorry left margin left 8 pixel if i refresh the page you will see it given the margin to the second position div from the left side now comment name spawn anchor if I scroll up it's much better you are going to pass that text decoration will be none font weight will be bold font size let's say 13 pixel let's refresh the page let's see yes 13 pixel is enough now for the color we are going to add for now 333 save it oh, i think it's much better for the comment content here we are going to say font size 15 pixel let's save the file let's see what happened if i refresh it now it becomes the 15 pixel if i like that yes is given the 15 pixel size text now let's go to stylus cases here we are going to add color so we'll give the same color which we have given to the common name so here we're going to say cc3 save the file now let's refresh the page is given the color here now we are going to select these element which we haven't added so let's go inside the html and you will see we have added a div which we will remove this uh, let me see this uh, this is a div we will remove this and uh, we are going to also remove this as well so save the file and if we see which div it is if i close this up now you will see if i select comment wrap class and if i say select the second div and then we are going to say select the second div again so here if i go to style.css this rule is already passed here we are going to say copy this rule and we are going to use that rule and we are going to say select the second div and now open the braces and here we are going to say inside that second div select another list and here we are going to give margin left margin left 4 pixel save the file let's refresh the page now it's given the margin now we accessibly select that element which is on our list later we are going to add that class to this uh, on our list div now final thing is uh, first we are going to display on this and uh, we are going to go and make a class again and this time the class will be for to make an element display none so we are going to say none and here we are going to add display property and value will be none now when we add this property 
to our element this is pan which is i think if i close here and uh, scroll down here it is this is the spawn so i will say none and now if i refresh it nothing happened because i think i didn't save the css file if i save the file let me see yes save the file now let's uh, refresh the page now it's gone now let's uh, say when we hover to this comment drive it should display that spawn again so go here and uh, inside the style css simply we are going to say here comment wrap hover when this comment wrap hover display none class and change display none to block save the file now let's refresh the page now you can see it's working so now we are going to make a class here we are going to say small font and uh, we are going to say font size 12 pixel and we are going to say important now this class will work 100% because the specificity will be higher because of this important value and if we save the file if we use that class to this uh, div and if we say a small font and if i refresh the page you can see is given the font our normal size if i reduce the size now it's much better so that's it for now and uh, see you in the next lecture